In my previous video, I demonstrated how you can draw a bell curve that looks something like that. If you need the link to that video, please leave a request on the comment section, I'll send it to you. But this time around, someone inquired how you draw an area chart under the bell curve with lower and upper range that you can specify on your spreadsheet. Well, this is how you do it. The first thing you have to do is to calculate the cumulative probability using an if function. The first argument, we're going to use an n function because we have a lower and upper range. And the first is the condition. You're going to say d2 greater than or equal to low. And you're going to press f4 to make both column and row fix. And the second argument would be d2 again, followed by less than or equal to the upper range and f4 to make both row and column fix and after that you're going to say comma if that is true you're going to probably show normal distribution if it's not true you're going to display zero value and after that you're going to apply the same formula to the rest of the row under the cumulative probability next going to add the cumulative probability to your chart select the chart here go chart design and you go select data in here you're going to click on add and the x series you're going to click on this here and select the grade from beginning to end and then click on this again and the y series you're going to add the new chart or new column the probability calculation that you just added from here to here and click on this arrow and you can see that the chart is forming and click ok twice now to turn this into an area chart click on any of the chart here and then go to chart design type chart type in here you're going to select the series one as a line chart and the series 2 you're going to specify that as an area chart and click ok let's change up a color a bit here right click on that area chart here click on format data series on this pop-up here you're going to click on line and fill and basically fill i'm going to just color it as a light blue and then the border i'm just going to color it as solid line with a darker blue like that and after that then done you can quickly do a test you can see that the chart move accordingly